Welcome everyone! Today I'd like to make a different video compared to the WoW Chatter Show series, since I recently got Nazuro the Unbound Legacy Legendary on my Evoker and I thought it would be nice to talk about it and give you a quick guide on what awaits you if you are after this cool Evoker specific Legendary. The first thing is for you to, well, get the Legendary. Not Nazura specifically, the Cracked Titan Gem, which drops from Sarkareth, the last boss of Aberus, the Shadowed Crucible Raid. It can drop from any difficulty, but the higher the difficulty, the higher the drop chance. I got it from Heroic Sarkareth. Once you get the Cracked Titan Gem, you will get a quest to talk to Nazdormu. Then you will get your second quest, which requires you to go to Zaralek Cavern and talk to Nosdormu again. This time you will just have to stand there and endure some RP, then click on some memories and you are done with the second quest. The third quest is the one that takes the longest. You will need to craft or put a crafting order on three different items. The professions required to get these items are engineering, jewel crafting and blacksmithing. For me personally, I did all of these by myself since I don't have any main professions on my evoker and you don't need any high skill in any of these professions. Just don't forget to train Dragon Isles, Engineering, Jewel Crafting or Blacksmithing. Now to gather the materials. Before gathering any materials, I advise you to first buy everything that is purchasable from the auction house at the beginning. For the legendary, you'll have to buy 50 Awakened Order, 50 Obsidian Seared Alloys, 50 Arclight Capacitors, 20 Shadowed Alloys, 20 Dracathists, 20 Elemental Harmonies, 20 Illimited Diamonds, 12 empty soul cages and 1 zap throttle soul inhaler. The rank of the materials doesn't really matter. The price for all of these materials for me was around 200,000 gold on Silver Moon EU, which is one of the more populated realms. Once you bought all of the required materials, you now need to use the zap throttle soul inhaler and get 3 of each soul. I already made a video about how this process works, so I'm not going to discuss it in detail. In short, you will have to use the inhaler on epic elementals throughout Dragon Isles and kill them. The item has a 5 minute cooldown and you can only hold one soul cage of each element. All of the elite elementals are located in Azure Span. Now to the materials you cannot buy. Let's start with the Temporal Vestigial and Everburning Shadow Flame. These two can be fired together from the Ferak Assaults. To quickly sum up the Ferak Assaults, each week Ferak will assault either the Onaran Plains or Azure Span. There will be many Jaredin forces, which after killed will have a chance to give you the Ward of Igira. You need 5 of these to summon a rare, which will give you Temporal Vestigials, ranging from 2 to 8. They also drop Everburning Shadow Flame, but with a lower drop chance. After you summon the rares, you receive Ward of Ferak. You need 5 of these to summon the biggest boy from the event, the Forge Master, which can also drop both materials. You just spam the event and eventually you will have enough Vestigials and Shadow Flame. You need a total of 400 Temporal Vestigials and 30 Everburning Shadow Flame. The next material you need are the Fleeting Glow Spores. You need 50 of these. You can get these by doing the Sniff and Seeking activity in Loam. To start Sniff and Seeking, you need either the Lost Dig Map or Better Dig Map. Lost Dig Map can be obtained from the weekly chest from farming Niffen Reputation, and the other map can be purchased from Ponzo for either Barter Bricks or Barter Boulders. These maps are only once per week and award around 10 glow spores each. However, there is another more dreadful way of farming the glow spores. You can get them by opening chests throughout Zara Lake Cavern. I got these spores from both smelly trash piles, which are scattered all around Zara Lake Cavern, 
and from the ritual offerings, which are mostly around the area here on the map. These treasures contain between 0 to 8, maybe even more, but the most I got was around 8 glow spores. And the last material you need to farm are the ancient elementium fragments, which drop from bosses in Aberus the Shadowed Crucible. This is either the easiest or the most annoying part of the quest. I mostly got around 4 to 6 per boss, and some bosses didn't even drop them. Luckily, you can get these from any difficulty, meaning that once you clear Heroic, you can farm them again on Normal and Mythic as well. Why can this be the most annoying part? Well, you need a group of people. Once you've gathered all of these materials, you can start crafting the items or put out a crafting orders. And once you get the items, you will be on your last part of the quest chain. You talk to Nosdormu again and you will endure some RP and kill one mob. Then a cinematic will play and you will get your legendary. The legendary will not be in your bags, it will be equipped as soon as you finish the quest. And after getting the legendary, don't forget to make it awakened, so you can upgrade it further. And that's it for the video. A bit different than my usual videos, but an informational, I hope, nonetheless. Thanks for watching the video, enjoy your new legendary, and if you don't have it yet, I wish you good luck on your next attempt. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!